Oh yeah, that's thumbnail. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Oh, that's so cool. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. We're continuing our ranked climb. Uh, I mean, like, I don't even know if I call it a climb. Really, I just like hop on the ladder and play some games. Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll make like an account where I'm like super, super serious. But uh, this is a, and it's named wrong, but uh, this is a team that I've been working on. I know a lot of people are like, man, you know, I don't like Dondos anymore. Well, listen, this isn't just a Dondoza team. This is a Palmot team. This is a Skeledurge team. And this team goes hard. This is actually the team I was going to bring to the tournament that I slept through on uh, Sunday or Saturday. Uh, so, you know, if you guys can make me feel a little bit better about that uh, by leaving a like and subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, answer my uh, question in the comments uh, down below. Uh, what do you guys think about Palmod? It won a tournament recently, and I think it's actually like really solid, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So yeah, we'll just grab a couple of games. We might win some, we might lose some. Let's just see what we can do. Uh, the whole gist of the team is that uh, you you like lead off with like Gothitelle plus uh, either Skeledurge, Golden Go, or Palmod, and that helps you just choose the right tool to like remove the answer to Don Dozo and then you clean up with Dozo in the back. Uh, let's say that you like mess up the Dozo cleanup. Let's say they had something that you're like not expecting. Well, guess what? You got the palm out there. You just go for the uh, the revival blessing and everything's all good. So yeah, let's see if we can grab some games. Okay. Against this guy. Uh, looks like they got an Armor Rouge uh, plus Ndidi. Uh, we got, actually, this is just like standard Armor Rouge, Ndidi, Mouse Hold, Annihilate stuff. For that reason, um, I actually quite like the Skeledurge lead. Uh, it lets me deal with a few things on lead. Uh, and then I'm just going to go with the Tatsugiri Dondozo in the back. But yeah, uh, we have to be very, very careful here because this team, as as you know, solid as I think it is, it is a little mousehold week. I cannot lie. It is a, a bit mousehold week. <laughs> and I think one of the, the rough parts about it is that, like, you're almost never going to leave Gothitelle at home. It's, like, mandatory. I'm hoping I can get some, like, Palm Out games, though. Okay. Uh, I'm actually... Pretty okay with this lead. Because I'm just always going to be able to go for the fake out into you and just burn the dude. I'd imagine they might want to do like a, a side beat up or like side population bomb into Terra Steel strat. So rather than like directly attacking the, um, the Annihilate, I would prefer just to make sure it's like not going to deal as much damage in the long run. Ragefish shouldn't do that much. I'm very physically defensive. And it's only 50 base power, yeah. So if I connect this burn, we're in a good spot. Nice. That's awesome. Okay. So with that out of the way, um, I think my play here now is to ensure that this... Annihilate doesn't get to have any fun. But maybe it's more worth my time to just remove this this little dude. So we're going to Terrastalize actually pretty early. Because um, I don't want to get one shot by Rage Fist. And I'm just going to go for Torch Song into this thing. And I think I just barely live the Rage Fist, even if it gets like maxed out in power. Because it's no longer super effective, and it's never going to be at full power. They actually went for beat up into me? Hello? Um, interesting. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know why they did that. Okay, well, we're just going to ignore the, the dude. Um, we definitely KO'd the... Wow, that did nothing. We're, we're definitely going to KO the guy now. Yeah, that and the Torch Song should do it. What? Are they Assault Vest? That has to be like Assault Vest, right? There's no shot that's not Assault Vest. Ooh, that's kind of annoying. Uh, that being said, at least they're stuck in here. 
And actually, because of that, I might go for the uh, slack off here. Yeah, I think they might have misclicked. But I am holding the uh, the ghost reducing berry. We go for bulk up. That's fine. I actually gained a lot out of this turn. Because I still haven't directly hit that guy. So what is it? Uh, it got hit three times. 50 goes to 100, 150, 200. It's 200 base power now, but it's cut down to 100 because it's burnt. So all I have to do is be careful with this uh, Annihilate. But he's also at plus one, which could be pretty bad. That being said, uh, I should always be able to double into the Annihilate with my Psychic plus uh, Torch Song and we'll be like fine. Because I am holding the berry, which will allow me to live that hit. Here's the Meowskarada. Oh, do I want to get rid of you first? Um, yeah, we absolutely have to get rid of Meowskarada, all things considered. It's it's more of a threat than anything. Torch Song should one-shot, but in case it's Sash, I have to do this. Oh, they U-turn out? That's gonna hurt, isn't it? Ow! Yeah, that is choice banded very, very hard. It is a very, very obvious choice band. <laughs> Alright, so if it is banded, um, that isn't too good for the Don Dozo in the back. But I think we're fine as long as we can get a body press off. Uh, Rage Fist? Okay, cool, cool, cool. If I can sleep this Murkrow, I'll be really happy. I am not at all interested in uh, attacking this Annihilate right now. Alright, I missed the sleep. Should do a decent amount, though. Not quite a KO. Um, I think what I want to do here is actually... Do I get my, my Gothitelle off the field so I can fake out later in the game? I think that might be my play. Yeah, let's get Doza win because Doza can eat a hit. And I'm going to slack off. Yeah. Dozo can certainly take this. Tailwind. Makes sense. I don't think that really matters, to be honest, though. Can I eat? I don't think I do. Ooh! <laughs> Dude, Skeletor is insane. I honestly thought I was going to go down there. I really did. I was very convinced that was it. All right. Um, I think here I just like go for a uh, a body press onto you, and I slack off again to try to live. Because this uh this this annihilates on on borrowed time to be honest. Like it's got to like bulk up quite a bit to avoid not being useless. And if I can catch that Meowskarat on the way, and I'd be really happy. Oh yo, we're gonna body press it. This is gonna be the nastiest body press ever. They're going to Terra? Alright, what is the Annihilate going to Terra into? If it's Ghost, I might lose my guy, but... Terra Fire? Okay, that's fine. Bulk up. Like I said, I'm not scared of this thing. That didn't, like, cure its burn or anything. I'm mostly just scared of this Meowskarada, which... Since I'm at full health, I can deal with. Yeah, nice. Okay. So I'd imagine here they want a flower trick. Possibly U-turn. I think regardless of what happens, I just double attack the Meowskarada and I win. Yeah, because it's going to be... I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter. Because Skeleturge doesn't lose to these guys. Or does it? Mm. You know what? You know what? Let's do it. This is a little risky. No, no, I always double attack. I always double attack. Because Meowskarada is the only real threat remaining. 
And if they want a U-turn, they lose the Murkrow. A Flower Trick, that's going to KO my Dondozo. But I will get rid of the Meowskarada here, which is very nice. Goes for another bulk up. I've got quite a bit of uh, boosts on my guy now. So, I'm not feeling too scared of this. Murkrow also, like, never runs uh, Protect. And it's not going to haze. So I always just, like, attack the Murkrow. Actually, is that even necessary? I forgot if this thing ever protected. Let me think. So it's shown Rage Fist. It's shown Bulk Up. Uh, it probably has Drain Punch. Murkrow's never going to haze. I think I go for the Fake Out into you. And I Torch Song the Murkrow. And that's my best chances of winning. Because if Murkrow hazes, I'm just in a better position to win. As much as I want to, like, double into the Annihilate, it's not worth it if it protects. Yeah. Foul play, I live. Awesome. And my Tatsugiri's pretty bulky, so I actually have a chance here. I think what I do is I actually get in my Tatsugiri right now. Um... Because that'll allow me to... Because if, if they attack the Tatsugiri here, like, I win regardless, right? Um, but this will allow me to go for the Shadow Ball onto the Annihilate. Possibly one-shot it? What are we even at? Like, how many boosts do I have on this guy? Tailwind's gone. Yeah, we're at, like, plus four. Okay, yeah, I get my Gothita off the field and go into Tatsugiri. Because regardless, next turn I'll have a fake out of... Like, regardless what happens, I'm always going to have a fake out. Also, I'm unaware, so like my my uh, my Skeldurge doesn't care about any of these boosts. Like, look at this. Yeah, nice bulk ups, buddy. Didn't help you much. Nice. Yeah, uh, they lose regardless now because I just always go for um, Draco Meteor plus Shadow Ball. Yep, nice. Okay, that was a really drawn-out game, but I'm really happy with the outcome there. I got to show off the Skelly. Skelly goes crazy. Hopefully I can get a Palma game. I want to revive a Blessing something. Alright. Continue battling. 17... 48. <laughs> we were close. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was a really cool game. I think that the early burn was actually, like, completely, completely responsible for me winning that. So, had I missed, that would have been really bad. Also, the assault vest on the, uh, <laughs> the assault vest on the, on the, uh, mouse hold was pretty un unexpected. Also, just solo dozo? What? Okay. This team, hard, this team hard loses to, to this guy. It really does. Uh, also, uh, do I want to do that? I really want to. I really want to. But also the Palmot goes crazy the more I think about it. Look, I might lose this game, but I want to do the Palmot. Hear me out. Like, Don Francisco here is more reliable. But Palmot's more swag, so we're going to go for it. Also, I get double fake out on lead, but I think my main goal here is to be able to close combat the, uh, either, like, fake out plus double shock to KO the Murkrow, and then, like, make my, uh, make my Dozo play a lot more safe, or I can, like, fake out and, uh, close combat the, uh, the Hydreigon to prevent it from getting anything done this game. Because Hydreigon is pretty scary. Alright, awesome. We got the Murkrow lead. 
So Murkrow's trapped in here. I can just I I just always go for double shock. They don't typically run protect. By the way, I'm Terra Electric on my uh, not Terra Electric. I'm Terra Flying on my Pomot to better deal with uh, Garchomp. It makes it safer in case they have like Tailwind up. I can like Terra and then Revival Blessing. All right. Don't have Protect in your Murkrow. It's a bad move. Trust me. Let's go. I've never seen this animation before. Oh, yeah. That's thumbnail. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. All right. That's pretty That's pretty sick. Used up all my electricity. I'm now a pure fighting type. These close combats, they're 100%. They're, they're certified pure. These, this is going to be a pure close combat. Hydragon. Send out the Hydragon. Yeah, they sent out the Hydragon. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for the Hypnosis, and I'm just going to try to CC this Hydragon. They might Terra. But, like, if they Terra Steel, it's still going to do a lot. Nope. Okay, you're done. You're done. Dude, this Palmot's going insane. This Palmot's going insane, dude. All right, check this out. They're gonna they're gonna bulk up. I'm not even gonna care, dude. I got the dozo in the back. He's a horse. Actually, he's a train within the channel's cannon. What? This man isn't even running defiant. Okay. Craziest thing I've ever seen. Not even defiant. Yeah, I win with the dozo. Uh, so we're just gonna go for it. I wish I could like just volt switch out. Uh, let's just go for like the the psychic onto you. No, I don't. I let you like do your thing. I actually go for like hypnosis onto you. I can't get anything in for free. I just have to like do damage. I can't double shock. It fails. Does it? Can I double shock? I, I actually don't know how this works. <laughs> I don't quite care because I wasn't going to get damage off here anyways, but like Terra Steel Dozo like solos this game. Terra Flying, uh, okay, that's a little, that's a little Terra Flying. No, it fails, okay. I forgot, like, I, I guess it is like Burn Up. Rage Fist, don't care, knock me out. This, uh, I hope this Hyper Voice knocks me out, oh, I guess we're just, yeah, okay. I kind of need to get something in for free to reliably win the game. You feel? That's that's the struggle I'm dealing with right now. All right. Uh, we're just gonna go for psychic and close combat. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the Palmot go down, but I'm gonna get some damage off on the Sylveon. Because then unaware Dozo just like hard sweeps. Are they just... Okay. Well, maybe the next close combat will KO. Who knows? Because that did nothing. I survived the next one, too. I'm literally just like... I'm sitting here and I'm like, man, I don't care. I do not give a single darn. Um... Oh, there's Citrus Berry. If they don't wake up next turn, I KO the Sylveon because I just do the same thing. No, it wakes up. Okay, Hyper Voice me. Don't care. Didn't ask. Okay. get in the dozo. It's unaware, so it could care less. I just go for order ups into the uh, the dude. Alright. Let's tear up. Go for this order up. I still haven't hit this uh, primate, so not only am I like not caring about the defense boost and the, uh, and the uh, attack boost, but also... You know, the, this Rage Fist is only going to become 100 base power, and it still has to eat a plus 2 order up. Granted, I have, like, no attack investment. Still still pretty strong, though, you know. Those are still hit. It hits, it hits like a truck, man. All right. Let's see. Check this out. After after these stats boost, okay. Check the speed. Oh, wait. Never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot... There's a lot of things going on here. Don Dozo is objectively the greatest timer stall mod ever made.
Protect? Don't care. Don't care. Okay. It's gonna rage fist me. I'm gonna dodge it because I'm insane. Looks like it's leftovers. Um. Uh, do I care about these defense boosts? Um. Let me just. I'm just gonna keep order upping, man. Like I don't care. I really don't care. Actually, if this thing protects, that might be like the best outcome for me. Yeah, the next one should KO. <laughs> that did nothing. <laughs> that really did nothing. Oh my god. Rage Fist would have done more. Air Blast? Okay. Stinky. Alright. Honestly, if they protect, I'm pretty certain the body press will KO. Alright, they protect the Sylveon, as I thought. They can Rage Fist me now, I don't care. It's not gonna KO. Alright. Bro, that's not gonna help! I'm unaware! You know, it, it's it's to my benefit that they just do this. Okay. It really is. We both get our leftovers. Okay, time to hit him with the nasty. Oh, yeah, look at that Tatsugiri. <laughs> it still zooms in on Tatsugiri. We learned something new today. Alright. I'm sorry for your loss. Alright, we're at like plus six defense now. I'm pretty sure that was the fourth order up. Alright. It's gonna do like six. Yep. My condolences. Alright. What is, let, let me see this. Let me see this. This one's for the thumbnail. This one's for the thumbnail. It might go on the thumbnail. Who knows? All right, body press up. They might think that they wall me out. I think they might just, yeah, they're just gonna forfeit. I was gonna say like, even if they do end up beating the Dozo, they still have to deal with like two things in the back. Yeah, those were clean games. Those were clean games. Do I wanna get a third? I'm gonna get a third. If I lose it, I lose it. Like what I like to do with these videos is like, man, if I'm on a roll, am I really gonna keep going with it? I might embarrass myself, but no. You guys came here to see the wins. You guys came here to see the losses. Let's do it. Let's get another one. How many points did I get off of that? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Hopefully we can get another Palmot game. Or maybe I can Revival Blessing, but I have to play like suboptimally to do that. All right. Um, the... Skeledurge looks better here than Palmot, truth be told. It really does. It really does. All right. Skeldurge. And we do this. I have to be really careful, though, because uh, Amoongus could, like, annihilate me. Amoongus could annihilate me if I, like, uh, waste my, terrace, uh, my Terra Grass early on. So I'd prefer if they let off with, like, stuff that doesn't beat <laughs> Skeldurge, you know? Or it'd be really sick if they let off with the... Uh, with like the Meowskarata, because I can just annihilate it immediately with like Fake Out plus uh, Torch Song, because I'm, I'm calc specifically to always one shot with Torch Song. All right. You know, I haven't made a Dawn Ductor joke this entire video. Let me just blow the whistle. I am the Dawn Ductor. Oh. Dang, one of the uh one of the little wooden pieces fell out that makes it whistle out the other end. Hold on, I found it. I found it. I found the wooden piece. I'm putting on my Dawn Ductor hat. Oh, that was awful. I'm sorry. That one sounded bad. One more. There we go. Got it. Alright. I got the train whistle and everything. I'm gonna roll up to a tournament in like a full like conductor's outfit. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I, like, I'm, I'm gaming here, I, honestly, like, I'm really just gaming. Let's go for the, uh, do I want to fake out here? 
think I want to fake out Will Terastalize and Will O Wisp the Garchomp. Is he looking down? Look at the Garchomp. He's like looking down at like the uh, at the uh, the Skeletor. He's like, hey guy, you're pretty short. You're pretty short, man. I think that's my favorite detail about this game is Pokemon no longer look straight forward. They will bend their neck. That's the crazy part. All right. Remember how earlier I said I need to like conserve my my Terra. Honestly, this lead's so good that I don't even think I need to. Need be Terra Ground. They're definitely like telepathy, right? Yeah. Okay. So um, if I connect this, we're in a pretty good spot because I should always eat one Terra Ground Earthquake. The question is, um, do I land the Will O Wisp? Like that's the that's the concerning factor here. All right, take out you. Looks like it's faster than the Garchomp, so it's probably Scarf Chomp, or it's probably Scarf Gardevoir. All right, connect. I beg of you, Skeledurge, connect. Yes, okay. Gaming. All right, uh, the uh, the bad the bad man can no longer hurt us. So I think here, uh, we can actually kind of ignore this guy. Let's go for a Protect and a Torch Song into this dude. Let's see what they lock themselves into. Moonblast, sick. They really want to make sure that like they they get their, their Gardevoir off the field. But Skeledurge does not care. Gothitel actually might even take a double up next turn. Look at this. Pathetic. <laughs> Wait, that did like six. Alright. That's in range of Shadow Ball. But also, if I'm not going to protect next turn anyways, I'm kind of tempted just to go for more damage. Maybe I hold on to the Goth. I can go Dozo here and eat the hit. And then have like fake out down the road. I think that's actually probably better. And then I just go for like Shadow Ball to KO. Yeah, let's do that. Um that that's probably the right play. Even if they like moonblast my Skelly, I'm probably fine, because I have the citrus berry. Yeah, Dozo can eat. Oh no, not my special attack on my Dozo. That's really bad. Both my dudes take nothing from that. Uh, I would really love it if they could send in the Murkrow here. That'd be pretty gangsta. They're probably going to send in the Meowskarata, truth be told, but if they want a flower trick in my Dozo, like... I feel like it's unresistible for Meowskarata players. Like, they see a Dozo and they, like, start, like, shaking. They're like, they need to Flower Trick it. So I might just be able to KO if I just, like, you know, get my guy off the field. But I think I always just double attack. Use the use the Dozo as bait. However, if they do U-turn on my, on my Skeledurge, that isn't too great for me. But I suppose it's not the end of the world. Yo, it's this guy. Okay. Um, no, I just go for it, man. I just like start to go for it, to be honest. Let's go for the order up into you. So I want to keep my Skeledurge around later on. Let's just let's just go for the the guy. You know, let's just do it, man. Oh, whoopsies. All right, battle, order up. I am no longer concerned for this Garchomp. This Garchomp seems to be uh, in the gutters. Just absolutely like floundering right now. And I should know. I should know a thing about floundering because I got a catfish. All right. They can bulk up all they want. Dozo doesn't care. 
They may even protect here, and honestly, that's better for me. Nope. Dragon Claw's gonna do nothing. Augers. Bitter Blade. They went for it into the dude. Awesome. Yeah, they might not even be Swords Dance, because I think they would have Swords Dance like a turn ago. Let's go for another order up. I can't body press this dude is the only thing I don't like. If they have Meow Scarada, they could protect and just get it in. But I think I should be more focused on dealing with the Sarah Ledge than anything. What are you going to do, bud? Alright, probably either Masquerade or Murkrow. I'm hoping for Murkrow. Masquerade. Okay. They protect? Alright, that's fine. I'm going to lose my Dozo here, most likely. Um, Unless they're like a really slow Masquerade. But honestly, this is like pretty good for me. Yeah, this is pretty good for me. All things considered. Let me try to body press. What if they're just like super slow? That'd be awesome. Yep. All right. Um, my. Hatsugiri, if it if they decide to like Shadow Claw here, I can eat the hit. They bulk up. Okay. Alright, so at this point I really want to trap in the Miascarada. So I'm gonna get in the Gothitelle. And I'm gonna go for fake out Icy Wind. Cause I believe. Let me check something really quick. Um, Meow Scarada. I have to check Meow Scarada speed tier at minus one. That matters here. You know what? I'm just not going to check because I'm scared. <laughs> fake out Icy Wind. I can also fake out Draco Meteor. But I think Icy Wind's safer. If they're choice banded, this just like deals with the Meow Scarada issue. But I do need to check on that. That's like a speed tier I'm not familiar with. Meow Scarada at minus one. Alright, looks like they're not choice banded. But if they go for the, uh, if they, actually, wait, if they go for the, um, please hit. I need you to hit the Sarah Ledge right now. If they go for my Gothita, I'm in a good spot. Bitter Blade. The goth tell okay, good. They KO'd it. Uh, the reason this is good for me is because I should be able to go for Muddy Water to KO this, um, KO the Sarah Ledge. And I just have to hope I can take a U turn. They might not even have U turn though. So here I slack off, and I'm pretty sure my Muddy Water KOs, but I need it to connect. That's the only issue. All right, I believe in you, Tatsugiri. I believe in you. I forgot, did I max out your special attack? 228, modest. I think this KOs. Because if I can slack off, I indefinitely stall out this entire game and I beat them. They withdraw. Wait, that's so good for me. 
Kind of. Depends. Knock off. They're gonna get rid of my berry, which kind of sucks, but... Connect the muddy water. And I did get my slack off, so I can shadow ball the, uh, the Sarah ledge now. Alright, back to full health. I'm very physically defensive. This Shadow Ball should one-shot. And I think I always Icy Wind as well. I clicked Shadow Ball, right? I'm kind of scared I might have clicked uh, <laughs> a Fire move. <laughs> Pretty sure I clicked Shadow Ball, though. But yeah. Since I've already lost my berry, knockoff into Bitter Blade shouldn't KO me. Flower trick? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I just need to eat a bitter I need to eat a bitter blade. It's gonna hurt. Did they crit me? Or is that just a one shot naturally? I like can't believe that one shot. What? What is that thing's attack stat? How did that one-shot me? It might be adamant. That might be it. Hold on. Let me look at this. I didn't think that would one-shot by, like, any stretch of the imagination. Sarah Ledge. 125? They have to be, like, adamant. I did not think that would one-shot me. Okay. Well, I mean, that was a good game regardless. I think we showcased the team very effectively today. But, yeah. Uh, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, because I upload daily content. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.